Cowboy fans, uh, Cowboy Nation, this is uh, Cowboy Legends for Life coming back at you again. And um, I'm going to wake up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to come back to you with uh, another video, this one concerning the retirement of DeMarco Murray. DeMarco Murray, um, I wish him well in his retirement. He's only played seven seasons. Uh, he, was all, he was injured a lot early on when he was drafted with, uh, by the Cowboys in 2011. You know, he only played uh, like uh, 10 games like that his first season or even less than that. Or I think it was like uh, 13 games his second season um, and things like that. You know what I mean? 14 games his third and all that. Anyway, just the fact that um, uh, he was, you know, always injured. But the thing is that he got something like 7,100 7, yards in his seven seasons as, a, as an NFL player. And um, he also got the record for the Cowboys' um, most rushing yards in the season, broke Emmitt Smith's record, and um, and, uh, and and you know he was a decent back. He was a good back, you know. Besides all the the plagues of his injuries, he was a pretty good damn back for us in the Tony Romo era. And um, and Tony Romo did not emerge until until um, Demarco Murray became the pr pr premier f uh, feature in that offense. And that was in 2013 and 2014 season. He's ran for like uh, almost 1,300 yards, or close to that. They were 1,200, 1,300 yards in, in, that, in that year, 13, and of course, eight, over 1,800 yards in 2014 season. And um, he was a pretty good back. And then let's tell you, he then went to the stinking ass uh, Eagles. And uh, of course, they didn't know how to use him right. They didn't know how to put him in the I formation. They didn't put him in screenplay. And they're saying nothing. You know, when you get somebody's ability, you're supposed to use his ability and take advantage of the, what he can do, not what he can just do for you, okay? And so Chip Kelly didn't know how to use him properly. And so they got rid of him after the, same, with, after the next year, which is what they did a lot in those uh, days with their players and coaches. When they didn't have a good season, they want to get rid of him. That's the ego way. So that's bullshit. Anyway, DeMarco Murray left to go to Tennessee. He had some pretty good seasons with them. You know, but I think the injury started to plague him again once he was with uh, Tennessee. And, uh, yep, and they finally released him. So he decided to go ahead and retire. And it's a good thing. He made a lot of money. He made good money. Philadelphia paid, paid, him, a good, paid him a good money. He decided to go there instead of just staying home in Dallas with his family. But now that he's retired, hopefully he'll come back to Dallas as, a, as a, like a family thing, as we do with all our players. And, um... And, uh, and uh, you know, take care of him, and and, uh, and just and just honor him as a back that he was. You understand? Because, you know, you know, it, it just it's sad that um, he didn't get what he want, or earned what he what he did, because of that at that time I, when he played with uh, the Dallas Cowboys. And then, like I said, you didn't see Romo become emerging strongly as a, as one of the favorite quarterbacks in the league until Demarco Murray rose, and that's a fact because a run game is key. The run game has always been the key to winning in terms of the offense, okay? And um, and like I said, you know, defense is what won championships. That's a fact. But in, the, in offense, it's the run game that's got to be the factor, factor, not just the passing game. And so, anyway, I'm just saying you know, hats off to DeMarco Murray. He had a, had a great NFL career, as short as it was. And I, I feel bad that he had to leave early on. But that's the way it, that's the way it is, you know, so... I'm glad he left intact with all his extremities, okay? <laughs> and uh, that he could uh, go ahead and just have fun in his retirement. So, hats off to you, DeMarco. Uh, I wish you well. And, you know, I also want to say that, um, you know, in those seven years, the man made the Pro Bowl three times. Made the Pro Bowl three times, man. You know, so, and I, and I get hats off to him, you know? That's not easy, especially when you're in a, in a, in a situation that he was in, in a precarious situation in Dallas when they were in the midst of the eight and eight seasons and six and tens, you know, and then they were, and he, he started to become a feature more when he started. That's when Garrett, you got to give that to Garrett, okay? Garrett decided when he became head coach, they were running the ball more, okay? Let's be honest about that. That's what he did. That's what happened. Because what the, Garrett came off from what he was with the Dallas Cowboys when he was a player, and, um, and, and um, of course, he wasn't a starter, but he seen, he helped out with the coaching, and he saw how it was done. He got to run. We have a, have a run balanced team. And I think he saw that with DeMarco Murray, helped to develop that, and then that's how, that's how Romo and them started to take off. Too bad the injuries plagued him too, Romo. So, 
uh, it's, it's just that's all. It's just I'm glad that he's um, retired and that uh, he'll be he'll be missed. He'll do well in Dallas. Coming back, come back home, Demarco, where you belong.